This plot of land will soon be home to a pilot program from Lakeland Electric involving liquid nitrogen. Then it will connect to this existing infrastructure, the Socrum substation. Heat from the sun plus liquid nitrogen makes electricity. We're the first utility in the country to use this liquid, liquid nitrogen system to create energy. Lakeland Electric's utility marketing manager, Catherine Lacey, says the city is working with Tennessee-based American Independent Power, which will build and maintain the facility. We will purchase five megawatts of power from this facility if it produces it. If it ends up producing no power, we don't pay anything. Lacey says if successful, the method could be used in growing areas of Lakeland to keep the power generation close to home. Does that improve reliability? Because there's less distance between you and your energy source, there's less things that can go wrong between you and your electric source. The Lakeland City Commission unanimously approved the power purchase agreement. Where's the downside on this? I don't know. I really don't know. And that's that's what concerns me. I will, I will be honest. Usually there's a trade off. Emerging technology manager Mike Dammer went on to say the $44 per megawatt cost is viable because of a tax credit. And unlike traditional solar power, the heat can be utilized 24 seven. This truly will be a distributed energy resource. This is, this is going to be out there. We're going to be able to inject power directly onto the grid. The liquid nitrogen power program is expected to be operational here by September of next year. Reporting in North Lakeland, I'm Stacy De Silva, 8 on your side.